Tom Brady says he's not opposed to an NFL return under the right circumstances. By the way, also not opposed to right. an NFL return <laughs> Might be under a good the idea. right circumstances. Um, so you're about to launch a product or something? <laughs> it did feel very like, I need to be back in the news. <laughs> do, do you think it's just like, boy, this Fox deal, I really don't, I really don't want to, like, I just, I really don't want to, it seemed like a lot of money at the time, and now I'm just like, yeah. I tough shoes to fill. Do we know if he's calling games this year? We he don't is, know, He right? is scheduled to. <laughs> I thought he just gets to start whenever he wants to start. Probably because he's Tom Brady, but that the, the theory was is that, yes, he took last year off and that he was going to, and they were going to move Greg Olson, and he's, in theory, supposed to start calling games this year. But, I mean, who? Season's not that who, far away. By the way, that's not a – if you are Tom Brady, mm. if you are – like, Tom Brady is in rarefied air, right? I mean, like, he is, he is the most famous person in any room he walks into. And the demands on his time and the the opportunities available to him Do in all wants. walks of life are my point is is so to for him to like like get on a plane go there talk to the coach hey you know hey Antonio Pierce how do you think you're going to attack the Chargers today you know like you yeah. know like for him to do that for him to do that and then he's going to go like again especially because because of the way that guy is wired like he's not going to he's not going to half ass it. No. Tom Brady no. does not half-ass anything. Like, if he, if he ends up committing to being an NFL announcer, he's going to be great at it or do everything he can. That was one of the reasons why Peyton Manning, who's so good, was resistant for so long because he didn't want to do that grind. That is a grind where you're on a plane every single week to whatever the number one game of your network is, right? And you're, and you're doing research. Like, you're, you're, you, need to know, you need to know who the freaking long snapper is. You need to, like, you need to know all that stuff. And then you've got to talk to both coaches of, of whoever that game is. And, like, and by the way, there's all this BS that goes on that you never see, but there's a luncheon for advertisers. And, you know, the, yeah. the CMO of Verizon wants to, you know, take a photo op and whatever it is. And, and so you're just, like, it's a, it's a grind. Um, and so Manning was like, I don't want to do that. And so finally, you know, ESPN was like, tell you what, here's a ton of money to sit in your garage and turn on a Zoom, you know, and Manning was like, okay, yeah. you know, and like you just watch it. Where it eliminates all of the other stuff. Yeah, all the BS. Yeah. And so, and even then, Manning was like, okay, I'll do it for 10 games. <laughs> yeah, right, right, like, right. I'll, I'll yeah. do it for half the season, you know, if, if you pay me a billion dollars. And ESPN was like, yeah, sure, here's a, here's a billion dollars. So I wonder if Brady is having second thoughts about that because, again, it's, he's not like – He's not like Tony Romo in the sense that, like, that's sort of what, you know, like, like Romo became a bigger star, I would argue, as a commentator than he was as a quarterback. Even nationally, though he definitely. Nationally, you know what I mean? And, and so there are people that need to go into television to keep their star alive, if you will. Brady doesn't need that. No. Brady's royalty. Yeah. It's funny. It's almost. It would almost be easier for Tom Brady just to go be the quarterback of the Raiders than to begin this whole new yes. job. <laughs> it's I like think it's so. a different, an entirely different world. Also, it's not a great spot because I think Greg Olson is just kind of regarded like he has a hundred percent approval rating. If I was on yes. Brady, I'd be sitting here like, "Damn it, Olson made a good point again." <laughs> like, yeah, it's just, it's not a Olson's great. great. Yeah. Olson, Olson's great, and so you're right. I mean, you're opening yourself up to criticism. Something that the bar is high. The bar is high, and he doesn't know if he's quote unquote going to be good at it. Whereas as a quarterback, he knows he's yeah, pretty yeah, damn that's good, pretty good at it. Yeah, no, and he's like, good. seriously, even even after a year off at age 45, <laughs> he's, still, he's right. still a top 10 quarterback in the NFL, right? Right. Like, what are the Vikings' odds go up to if Tom Brady signs with them in the next hour? I, I guarantee he, he would be projected as a definite increase over Sam Darnold. Uh, and also, not to disparage our good friend Aiden O'Connell, friend of the show, but he would also be a, uh, an upgrade there, too. So, I don't know. Yeah, I just, I think there's a non zero chance. Like, the fact is, he was done. Everyone was just like, ah, you've wavered before, and you yeah. came back, and blah, blah, blah. And then he took the year off. And so you're like, okay, you're out. Yeah. And then for him to sort of say, well, actually, he People won't forget. close the door. Yeah. He won't close the door. People forget Jordan was actually pretty good on the Wizards. He wasn't actually that bad. It's just he wasn't Michael Jordan anymore. <laughs> just wasn't Michael Jordan yeah. Yeah, letters, good. but he was yeah. still. Flipping up 20 again. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Good. I was worried we were going to get through the show without an NBA <laughs> reference. Funny. Thank it was God. Close. It was, it was yeah. We got about there, 10 yeah. minutes left before we could have got it in. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBCSports.com and RotorWorld.com. And I want to thank you so much for watching whatever it is you just watched. Or if nothing else, being too lazy to click out of the autoplay after this video started, after whatever it is you actually wanted to watch finished. But now that you're here, I'd like to take a moment here to ask you respectfully, respectfully now, okay? I'm asking you respectfully 
to subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel. You'll get the latest Roto World fantasy news headlines, all sorts of great shows, including my own Fantasy Football Happy Hour. So go subscribe now. Again, I'm asking respectfully.